This movie tells a story when members of the Osage tribe in the United States are murdered under mysterious circumstances in the 1920s, sparking a major FBI investigation involving J. Edgar Hoover. This movie is another tale of the unpleasant truth about America and the West as it puts the bad guys at the center of the story and shows how casually they take the systematic erasure of the Osage people. First of all, the performance of Lily Gladstone is decent in this movie. Unfortunately, the movie as a whole is really disappointing. This movie is more than 200 minutes long and it's really wasting its minutes. It's evident that the story doesn't need a treatment of almost three and a half hours. What happens over an exhausting three hours plus is clear as day within the first 15 minutes. Everything should feel essential and yet too much laser is taken in the development of the plot and characters. The pacing is really sluggish and the movie is uninterested in building tension or anticipation. The story is so bloated, tried, meandering, and drifting. The way the story is told is not engaging as well. The scenes are utterly pointless and completely lifeless at times. There's nothing really going on as so many scenes are going nowhere. It's like the movie wants to include so many stuff to make it factually correct and losing track of making an engaging film. The story really lacks of mystery as the happenings during the first act are plain and routine. The beginning of the film feels cumbersome and even confusing. All the techniques that are used in this movie do nothing to advance the plot. The movie really lacks glow, gorgeous images and compositions, and production design that look epic and lived in. Eventually, a murder mystery part of the story arrives, however, it's not much of a mystery as it's revealed early on who the culprits are. It takes more than two hours before a proper, authorized, impartial investigation gets underway. The movie tends to use the villains as the chief perspective, lending to a lengthy wait for a hopeful comeuppance. The story lacks focus and emotional weight, Many of the cast is using self-conscious acting mannerisms which reduce the stark impact of the story, lessen and ruin the tone and depth of the shocking story told in the original book. The movie sometimes also feels like it makes a bit mockery of what is an awful despicable part of American history. Overall, this movie is really a waste of time. We do not recommend to watch this in theaters, just wait on your streaming service.